In this presentation, we will take a look at multiple choice questions related to payroll. First question, extended medical benefits for terminated employees in some cases is A, APR, ARP, B, SODS, SODS, C, OSHA, OSHA, or D, COBRA, COBRA. So let's read through this again and see if we can eliminate some of these. First, it says uh, the question, extended medical benefits for terminated employees in some cases. Now, this is one of those where we pretty much just have to basically know uh, what the response will be here because we're talking about acronyms. We may have more familiarity with some acronyms than others and possibly could uh, cross some items off the list just in terms of what we think is most familiar. The terms here, if we didn't really know what they stood for, we could probably try to see, okay, what do we, what do we recognize most? To most people, I think a lot of people would have heard OSHA, if we start to just name it, it sounds fairly familiar. COBRA uh, is another one that may ring a bell. R possibly sounds like it could be something. Uh, uh, SODS may, might be less familiar. So I would, if we had no idea, try to cross out basically on what we think is most familiar to payroll legislation and I would think that uh, these could be the three. We could then at this point try to see what the acronyms are and see if we can figure that out. But most of us these acronyms aren't as familiar to most people. They might just have a better understanding of basically what these things are doing. So OSHA uh, might be more familiar as something that has to do with safety and COBRA is one that generally has to do uh, with health coverage. And ARP could be address resolution protocol might sound familiar. Uh, of a term, but I'm going to say A is not going to be it. The most familiar two is probably going to be OSHA and COBRA. And of those two, COBRA is the one that deals with the health benefits. So the actual term is the is the Consolidated Omnibus Budget Reconciliation Act, which is probably something that we wouldn't recognize uh, or be able to come up with if we just saw COBRA. But we probably could think that COBRA is going to be related to the health uh, insurance and therefore COBRA seems to be the correct answer here. If we're talking about OSHA, OSHA is going to be the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, which, uh, you know, we could think that has something to do with um, uh, health benefits, but uh, COBRA is the one we're looking for. So once again, correct answer, extended medical benefits for terminated employees in some cases is D, COBRA. Next question. The primary reason for the Federal Insurance Contribution Act, or FICA, was to A. Provide universal health insurance B. Require employer to pay for health insurance C. Provide a retirement plan for everyone and D. Provide benefits for workers who were unable to work because of age, disability, or death. So we'll go through this again, see if we can go through the process of elimination. The question once again, the primary reason for the Federal Insurance Contribution Act or FICA was to A. Provide universal health insurance. Uh, th that's not going to be it. That's not the reason FICA was in there. And we might want to think of what is FICA, first of all. FICA is going to have two components. Uh, whatever we know about it, we might want to just think it in our heads and then answer the questions. Uh, the FICA is going to have uh, Social Security and Medicare are the two involved there. So in the first one, you might see provide universal health insurance and say, well, Medicare is a component. So you may, we may leave that. We may say, hmm, uh, you know, Medicare is part of that. And that's kind of universal in a way. So we'll, let's keep that for now, actually, if, as it could be a best answer. B, require employer to pay for health insurance. Um, again, it, you could think, well, Medicare is being paid for and it's, it's being paid by the employer and employee. There's an employee and employer portion. So I'll keep that for now. C so said provide a retirement plan for everyone. And that's uh, Social Security is going to be the other component. And you can think of it like a retirement plan, but it's really a safety net that we have there. And D says provide benefits for workers who were unable to work because of age, disability, or death. Um, provide, provide benefits for workers. And that seems like the most reasonable. So if I if we go through these, A, B, and C all have kind of a, a similar, we can think, well, you know, there might be a component to that that it's true. And D kind of recaps everything in the most concise way. So to read this one through in terms of which would be the best answer, 
oftentimes one deeds the longest answer and two it's the most precise type of answer which typically when you're talking about definitions uh, we want you know there might be a longer more precise type of answer so just from looking at it we would say maybe maybe one D looks good because it's the most inclusive and it kind of includes some components of A, B, and C. We can also try to eliminate uh, A, B, and C and see if, if they kind of counter each other out because we can't have two answers that are the same. So A says provide universal health insurance and B says require employer to pay uh, for health insurance. So those are, those are both kind of saying that the there's going to be health insurance in it and it's not really health insurance it's kind of like a safety net program when we're talking about medicare it's not really universal in that it's not really providing universal coverage it's providing more of a safety net which is the uh, which is the original goal so th these aren't really true because they're not because of that they're not really uh, uh a universal health insurance but a safety net c says provide a retirement plan for everyone and again, you kind of think of Social Security as a retirement plan, and more and more, it seems to be thought of as more of a retirement plan. But originally, it was it was once again a safety net. So these things aren't uh, aren't things that providing health insurance for all of our needs, or uh, or a retirement plan that's going to suit all of our needs. It's thought of more of a safety net. And D encapsulates that by saying, provide benefits for workers who are unable to work because of age. So this is, you know, they lived past their life expectancy. And therefore, it's not really their fault they can't work at this point because they live longer than they thought they were going to live. Or they had a disability or death. That's more of a safety net program. That's the original intent, in any ways, of uh, FICA. So, D is the correct answer, once again. The primary reason for Federal Insurance Contribution Act, or FICA, was to D. Provide benefits for workers who were unable to work because of age, disability, or death. Yeah.